Zingo hisa iwatu ni mucharo Ni kwivu ko kwifisi yo muryango Ah Muraho my wonderful peoples if you just want to know what the latest requirements are to enter Rwanda right now, go to this website or skip to this minute within this video. In short, there are three crucial things that you need right now to enter Rwanda. First, a proof of a negative COVID test taken five days before departure, also for transit passengers. Second, a hotel booking confirmation from one of these government pre-selected hotels. Third, a passenger locator form confirmation code also filled in five days before departure. Upon arrival, you will take a second COVID test and then you'll be quarantined for 24 hours within your hotel room, awaiting your results. More about this later in the video or just go to this website, also linked below. Okay, let's go back to Europe. So it's another beautiful day right here in Antwerp. Uh, we just woke up, going to get the car from the charge, you know, because today we have a beautiful trip that is ahead of us. I have, I have yet another good friend of mine who just got a baby. Looks like everyone is getting babies and getting married, man. What's up with that, guys? Um, but anyway, so we're gonna a little visit but it's really in the north of Holland and uh, for us two and a half hour drive means it's it's far <laughs> I know for some people out there in the States that's like nothing but here literally it's an international drive in this vlog I'm in Belgium but if you follow me on Instagram you already know that I'm back in Rwanda I can't believe some of you guys thought I had relocated to Belgium for good <laughs> We rented this beautiful, brand new, fully electric mini car to visit my friends and families. But did you know that I am the first driver for this car? I got it at, at 35 kilometers. We attempted to record a vlog. Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to Theo is back. And today is your, uh, what's it? Today is bring your girlfriend at work day. But felt <laughs> miserably. And then we get pulled over by the Belgian police. I won't lie, as we were following the police motto, our thoughts went to all those scenarios you see on the internet that happened in America. We both knew immediately that this might end up deadly. Now, Theo, illegal. It's not other than America. It turned out that these guys were border patrol, randomly checking passports. I don't know what made them pick us. In all my time of crossing this Belgium-Holland border, this is the first time so I've been stopped by Border Patrol look. in a car. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 I'm gonna push ah, you. Wait, wait, wait. Ah. Update. Okay, we are on our way, hey. driving. We just <laughs> entered uh, uh, Holland, Nederland. Mm. And, uh, what happened? Yeah, we got like a, 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 a controller. A, 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 a border check. It's like my second time ever the, seeing that happen, but the guys were in love with this car, to be honest. That's why they put us over. But anyway, we are on, we are driving, we got about an hour left of this journey. Anything you want to add, co-pilot? No, I was just going to say, I had to begin with talking. Oh wait, in English? That's it. <laughs> We continued our journey and visited my newly fathered friend. The baby was too shy for camera. And then it was time to return to Rwanda. So let's go to Rwanda. Traveling to Rwanda is more difficult than traveling out of Rwanda. It was stressful, it was expensive, and to make things worse, I got a first class update and I did not know until I was boarding. I could have spent those seven hours that I was waiting in Ethiopia in business lounge. Anyway, at least the food and the service was great uh, during the flight. 
here are 10 steps on how to arrive in Rwanda as of now. Step number one, book your flight in advance. This is not obligatory, but if you want to minimize your stress, I would advise to book your, your flight in advance. Airline, airline companies nowadays are more forgiving if you have to cancel or reschedule your flight due to COVID reasons. So use it to your advantage. Step number two, take a PCR COVID test 120 hours before the departure of your flight. Make sure to time it right to the hour and even the minute. They will check for this. When the results come back negative, i.e. you don't have corona, ask for a certificate, make sure it's in English, and print it out and keep it close to your passport. You will need to show it many times during your travel. Step number three, book a hotel from one of these pre-selected government hotels for your first night in Rwanda. If all goes well, they will send you a confirmation email like this. Also, make sure to print this out or make like a screenshot on your phone and keep it together with your certificate, with your COVID certificate and your passport. You also need it many more times. The list of pre-selected hotels keeps expanding. There are many hotels in different price ranges and different locations, even outside of Chigali now. I will link the latest list in the comment section below so you can check it out for yourself. Be aware that your favorite hotel might be fully booked or late to respond, so book in advance. Not like me, who booked like the night before arrival. Step number four, fill in this passenger locator form from this website. This was hard to find uh, because it was not on the main website first, but now I see that they have it on the main website through this like small pop-up. If someone is watching from RBC, please put it somewhere in the menu and make it like bold so that it's very easy to find. I had, I had real difficulties to finding this. After you fill in this form, you get a confirmation email with a code. This code is also very important. They will ask for it many times, so keep it together with the other documents. Step number five. When you arrive in Rwanda, you will be greeted by these people who will again check your passport, your COVID test, your hotel confirmation, and the confirmation code from the passenger locator form. They will again check whether the test was taken within 120 hours before departure and they will not touch any of your items. So you have to show it uh, to them together with your passport. Step number six. Once you pass this, you are allowed to continue to immigration where you need to buy your visa and stuff, all those other regular stuff. Number seven. After that, you will go and pick up your luggage and head out of the airport. When you're out of the airport, there will be someone checking all arriving passengers and matching them to the hotel bookings. They will lead you towards the van of your booked hotel. The hotel van will bring you and all your luggage towards the hotel, where you will do a second COVID test upon arrival. One more time, oh baby, one more time, oh baby, one more time. One more time, oh baby. Step number nine. You will spend the next 24 hours quarantining in your hotel room. You will not leave this room and everything is done through room service. All right, so this is going to be my room for the coming 24 hours. Food has arrived and I'd like to leave it right here. And look, there's my room. I personally like this part, just chilling and Netflixing the whole time and when you get hungry you just place a phone call. I like this kind of service. Hello. Oui, I'm going to order my lunch. You don't want to come nothing, guy. Alright, lunch is served. I had to beg for the avocados but they got them. Last night they couldn't deliver them, not today they came. So yeah, bon appetit to me. And lastly, step number 10, if all goes well, within like 24 hours-ish. It has been 24 hours since I arrived in this hotel and I still have not gotten my uh, COVID test results. You will get your results. If it comes back negative, that means you don't have corona. You are free to check out and enter Rwanda freely. Okay, so despite my cold and weird sore throat, uh, 
I'm negative, so I can uh, finally check out. I got a call from the doctor. So the trick I've realized is make sure you can contact the doctor, the person who took the test for you, because otherwise there's no way of you know putting some pressure on them because it's been now I think 26 hours or so. so. If it comes back positive, well, I don't know what happens actually. Do you know? Has anyone experienced that? Because there are no information yet about that. So I picked Quiet Heaven Hotel because they reacted pretty quickly online and they are close to my neighborhood. The staff was very friendly, though I found that the kitchen staff was quite lazy to make vegetarian vegan meals as, as if they have never heard of it. And the portions were very small, very unrandom like. Breakfast is served. So they only had like omelette for me or something and I asked for something else. This is the best they could do. Hopefully it will be enough. It is not as quiet as you would expect from a hotel called Quiet Haven, but it was worth the money paid. So, I hope this helps. Please share your experience of you arriving in Rwanda in the comment section below. I'm wondering if it was the same as, as mine. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe guys and I would like to see you all in the next video. Uramuche.